In this video, we will prepare the solid model for composite layup by extracting surfaces, and then clean up the geometry using ANSYS space claim. Drag the ACP pre-component onto the project schematic window. Right click, and open the FSAE chassis file in ANSYS space claim. As we are analyzing the chassis, hide the other components. This is a solid geometry, and we need surfaces to do the composite layup. Select an external face, double click to select all the surfaces of the structure. Also, select the faces of the front and the rear bulkhead. Ctrl C to copy the selected surfaces and Ctrl V to paste as a separate part. Hide the solid chassis. The extracted surface geometry is the shell model, applicable for composite layup in ACP. Assume, the chassis will be fabricated using a top and bottom mold, bonded together with additional plies. To simulate the process, imprint an edge along the bond line. This will aid in selecting separate panels for the top and bottom mold. Use the split face tool to create an edge on a surface. Select the front bulkhead to cut the surface in half and change the percentage to 50. This slices the surface into two equal parts. In the same manner, split all the surfaces of the rest of the structure. Because we have taken the external faces based on the solid geometry, there are some edges which do not line up properly or may be overlapping. The tools within the Repair tab can be used to fix these issues. Go to the Repair tab, and click on Stitch. It picks out gaps in the model, highlighted in red on the rounds, helping to generate a good uniform mesh. Click on the Split Edge tool, which automatically merges coincident edges that do not mark the boundaries of a new face. Either we can individually select each edge, or click on the green button to merge all the edges. To simplify the mechanical setup, the torsional loads will be applied on the suspension mounting points. Unhide the suspension component, and from the Prepare tab imprint the surfaces. The tool looks for faces which are coincident to each other. Now hide the suspension, these connection points imprinted on the structure, will be used to apply torsional loads through them. Click on the patches of the spring and steering arm, go to the design tab. Use the fill tool to merge them with the side panel, as minimal load is transferred through these imprints. To apply the loads through the wheels, a new coordinate system can be defined at the centroid of the upright, which will be used in the mechanical simulation. Unhide the wheels, and select the interface of the hub, and then click on Origin. Hide the wheels. To simulate the torsion case, the couple will be applied at the origins, scoped to the suspension imprints, which will twist the chassis. Suppress the other components for physics, which only transfers the surfaces for composite layup. In the next video, we will generate a suitable mesh for the model, and create name selections for the composite layup. Thanks for watching.